We're following up on the impact of the coronavirus on local first responders. The Portsmouth Fire Department reports five employees have tested positive for COVID-19. That is up from the two cases we told you about yesterday morning. 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson picks up our coverage this morning. Kiana, several other first responders are off in self-isolation over possible exposure concerns. That's right, about a dozen first responders are still in self-isolation, but now we're hearing from the Portsmouth Fire Association. They're voicing concerns about a staffing shortage. Now, after our story aired, the union sent 10 on your side a statement saying the department is short first responders. The union says during the COVID-19 crisis, ambulances have gone to scenes without paramedics, and at times members from different stations had to pitch in to help. We've also reported that Station 4 was closed Wednesday for cleaning. Fire Chief Jim Hoffler says the department spent about $16,000 to do so. However, the union says no other stations were cleaned, and that is concerning for the public. Now the Fire Association is calling for Fire Chief Jim Hoffler and city leaders to intervene and add more positions. Now the union is also claiming that firefighters are working dangerous amounts of overtime. I'll share more on that part of the story coming up in just 30 minutes. In Portsmouth, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.